Hey guys, how's it going? So here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. So we have got another episode of the Deck of Cards Red to Glory, the series, where we go onto random.org, pick a card, and that decides what player we're going to get. However, in the first one, we actually get an Ace of Diamonds, which is a 1,000 coin bonus to our total, which we have got in the account now, which is so cool. Almost at 5.5k, which is not bad at all, and I thought I'd pick up another card from the deck of cards simply because that wasn't really a player so in this one we do in fact get the four of clubs which is going to be the best player on the fourth page of the auction market and we're going to go and pick one for our fitness team now if you'd like to get some coins check the link in the description for the fifa shop.co.uk a fantastic service that is fully automated on both consoles and we have a huge 10 percent discount code off every single one of your orders when you pop in toby 10 at the checkout screen of any of your orders which is really really cool so we've got Sacco here now i'm not sure if i'm going to use him or chris smalling i'm probably going to keep using chris smalling because generally in my opinion he's a better defender on this game mainly because he has 10 extra pace i'm not gonna lie about it simply when you're using like the defenders on this new patch you want ones that are fairly quick because most of the time you're going to let the AI do it for you because this patch is so silly with defending. All you have to do is pretty much control your CDM and I don't like doing it because it's really boring. I actually get bored doing it. I should because I'd probably not have lost that game in the 90th minute but I genuinely get bored not doing anything. So I tend to just control my centre backs and see if I can defend the old fashioned way we get a three of hearts which is going to be the worst player on the third page of the auction market we're going to go for our Syria team and we're going to pick up a player and that's actually Conco this is a pretty big upgrade considering it was actually the worst player so we get Conco replace the Skiglio and this team oh my god how how am I being matched up against that team that's a monster of a team Ribery, Abamyang, Lewandowski, Mikita Ryan, Lam amazing team absolutely phenomenal team i didn't really have the best of hopes but we get an early goal and possession was kind of mine like i was finding it very easy to pass the ball about i was in attacking areas almost all the game and we get a second goal there and i don't know it was just he wasn't easy to defend against but his passing wasn't that great and my attack is pretty deadly with his team higuain and Obabo is such a incredible strike force they're so so good i don't even need to mention anything about Abobo. like to be able to do that is so silly like that should not happen goalkeepers on this game even if you don't hold down wide they just run out and they just they're so bad like you can literally just run past them it's silly it should not should not happen like goalkeepers need to be changed again but we actually won that game now if you didn't notice we needed to win that game to stay in this league and we hold our division just Literally, we needed 10 points to stay in that division. It's pretty embarrassing. I shouldn't be losing games at this point, but we had a pretty bad run of form. We get a two of hearts, which is the second page and the worst player. And we're going to go back to our fitness team. I actually wanted Raphael because we need a new right back, but we get DRB, which is kind of a shame because we already have Czech Teote, and I think Czech's actually pretty decent. So I am going to replace him for now simply to see how DRB does, but... I'd preferred a new right back. Nonetheless, we have a pretty good team to come up against. A very, very, very strong attack. Guarin, Martinez, Ibarbo. It's bad, and I am such an idiot. Like, I get a player sent off in three minutes. This was so dumb, and I did not need to do it at all. He got a free kick. He didn't score from it, but he did score from the corner that came shortly after, and this was such a tough game. Like, playing with 10 men on this patch is so difficult but we do equalize and we actually managed to dribble all the way into the box with the Rossi he gets taken down and Ibarbo picks up the pieces making it 2-1 we're in the lead with 10 men and we don't need to win this game like if we lose it's not too much of a problem we're pretty much at the start of the, the new division so whatever happens it's okay but I don't know how how that got to Jackson Martinez it's pretty much the 90th minute and Higuain with an absolute corker from outside the box absolutely brilliant goal and we managed to win that even though we had 10 men so that does wrap up this episode i hope you have enjoyed it if you have leave a like and subscribe for some more but take care guys have an amazing day and goodbye